Start with the end in mind, evaluations. We coach our coaches. We do this to make you a better coach and to improve our customer's experience. It does not mean you are in trouble or doing something wrong. It just means that we care about you and our customer. One of the ways we provide one of the ways we provide feedback is by performing formal evaluations. We are showing this to you early in the education program because we have a saying that goes, start with the end in mind. Here are two additional times we use this saying. When planning for a session, we start with the end in mind. We plan backwards. So if you plan to scrimmage for the final 20 minutes, and our sessions are traditionally 55 minutes long, that means at the 35 minute mark, you need to have your other two to three activities complete. So you plan them accordingly. Furthermore, you set up your scrimmage field at the beginning so it is ready when it is time and you set up your other activities inside of the scrimmage field as they are usually smaller than the scrimmage. This decreases setup time for the scrimmage and is starting with the end in mind. When playing a game, start with. The second one is when playing a game let's say sharks and minnows, you have to explain the rules. So you explain with starting the end in mind. You say, has anyone played sharks and minnows? Let them answer. Then ask, okay, well, how do you win the game? Let them answer. And then you explain that you wanna be the last minnow dribbling while everyone else are sharks. Follow that with the rules of the game. This allows the kids to connect the rest of your rules to the end result. So here is our evaluation. This is what we want you to become. We know we haven't shared with you how to coach yet, but we are going to start with the end in mind. As you progress through the elite way, you will be able to connect the small steps with the ultimate goal, ace in the evaluation.